Come on in, welcome to my home. This review is about e-meals. This is not a sponsored video in any shape, way, shape, or form. This is coming about because I've been using e-meals for about six months, maybe seven now, and I actually like it. I enjoy it and I'm going to explain my philosophies on it, where I come from with this, and everything. But let's start off at the beginning. Why did I come about to emails? Well, that was simple. We had been using HelloFresh, and I have some issues. Yes, I have some issues with HelloFresh because HelloFresh was really good at delivering me uh, just the right amount of food when it came. Emails is one of these great things. I guess I should explain what emails is. Emails is a meal planning app where you can go pick out e uh, the uh, meals that you want to have, create a grocery list from that, go through what groceries that you have or items that you have in your home, don't buy those if you already have them, and then you can send it to an app that is for your store, or you can take the grocery list to your store with you, so you can either pick it up yourself, or you can order it online through various stores like Kroger, or Walmart, or whatever store they are aligned with. Uh, I personally go through the Walmart store because that's one of our only stores here. But let's talk more about the whole why we came about to this. When I sort of got fed up with e with uh, HelloFresh was simply because HelloFresh, for me, had a tendency to be late. That, that, well, that was an issue. They also had a tendency to deliver me um, vegetables which didn't look great. Wasn't happy about that. So I knew that I was having a hard time personally trying to figure out what we were going to eat because mom didn't really care. And I'm like, well, you know, that's not really helpful. So I needed some way to figure out what I was going to have. And I came across emails because it had a fairly reasonable price. Now, the one thing to remember is Emails price does not include your food. It is just for the app with the recipes and then the grocery list hooks up to however you want to do it. Like I said, you're either going with, going to, into the store with the app on your phone or you are using some sort of curbside uh, pickup, that sort of thing, so that you can just pick up the groceries and go from there. But that also is its own problem. Okay, so let's get down to basics with this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do once you sign up for the app and you decide what kind of meal plan you want. You could, we signed up for, I think it's under the 4-2 uh, kids meals. Uh, why did I do that? Because at the time I thought that would be a good idea. It, it really doesn't matter because you have available to you any of the recipes from any of the different meal plans for that week. They have all sorts of different meal plan available to you. They are listed down below in the description so you can see what's available and that's really cool. You can choose from lots and lots of recipes. I do believe each meal plan does come with like seven different recipes each week so there's lots to choose from. And that can be its own daunting task, trying to decide what you want to eat, but it can also be its own, hey, this is really cool, I hadn't even thought about eating that. And so what do you do? Well, you find a recipe, you add that to your list, and voila, that's it. Once you have as many recipes as you want on your list, then you're ready to shop. But that's the important thing about this to remember. You decide how many recipes that you want for that week. If you only want three recipes for that week, you only do three recipes for the week. If you want seven for the week, you do seven. Now we are on the dinner plan. They do have a breakfast plan and they do have a lunch plan. Those are separate cost and they cost about the same amount as the uh, dinner plan, and I, I'm not going to go with the price of this because I'm certain that prices will change all the time. We do the yearly uh, version of this, and to me, it's just like a subscription to a magazine because the thing to remember about emails is all they are doing is providing you recipes and providing you that app which then helps you shop for the food. And the shopping for the food is what's really important. Because once you're on the app and you're ready to hook up to your store to shop from the, for the food because you have all of your recipes picked, then you're ready to go. You're really ready to find out where emails, I think, excels. 
So here I am on the app looking for what items I, I want and this is really cool. I can decide how high-end, how organic, how whatever I want these things to be. If I want to go with the better cut of meat or the better whatever, this is where, I'm. Mean, since I'm using the Walmart uh, part of the app, uh, we can then go and decide what it is that I'm buying. I can get organic, I can get whatever my store has available to me. Or, like I said, you can take this app into the store with you and then just buy it and then take it off your list. Now, that makes it really cool because I'm not stuck with what they think I should get. Or, if you are a cook like I am and you know what your family likes to get, well, let's say for this week they have you getting, uh, I don't know, let's say, uh, uh, Brussels sprouts, and you know that your family doesn't like Brussels sprouts, well you can substitute something out for Brussels sprouts. How is that important? Well, with the other services, you can't substitute out your sides. If you're going to substitute out your sides, then you have this side which has been shipped to you that you have no idea what to do with. With this, you can go ahead and do this from the beginning, and I think that makes this so much better. I know that they say on the app that this is for the beginning cook. Um, I'm going to say yes and no. You can completely and totally follow the recipes as is. I personally find that the recipes need to be a little bit more spicier, and so I have a tendency to add more spice. I have a tendency to add sometimes my own flair to the recipes, but it is a good base. It's a good beginning. It gives me recipes that I might not, not have thought of whatsoever and it's so easy to do and that's what I really like about this because it is just a recipe whereas with other things like other food service other these type of meal planning things where they deliver the meal to you they deliver the meal to you you have everything that you need and sometimes the problem is they are using a spice mix that you don't have and if you wanted a bit more spicy you don't have it. You can go online, and I know for HelloFresh, you can go online and find out how to create those spice mixes, but that's an extra step that wouldn't necessarily be needed. And the other thing about this is, eMeals has a tendency to use some already made items. Instead of having to do your own uh, pizza sauce, you can then, like they'll say, use pizza sauce. So that makes it really, really nice. It's also quick. I have found that generally with emails, it takes me about an hour. All right, so about an hour when I don't really concentrate a whole lot on this to make a meal. And the thing about this is it doesn't take 50,000 pans. Uh, with other food service things, they can be using like nine and ten pans just to do one meal whereas emails has a tendency to be able to mix it all up in just a bowl or that sort of thing put it into the oven and bake it put it on the uh, range and cook it that way but it's so much easier and so much quicker to uh, clean up for and then the fact that I can then choose my sides if I feel that I know for um, mom complained about our last service that they had a lot, a lot of roasted carrots. She got tired of that. Roasted green beans. She was tired of those. So with this, I can see, hey, they have a lot of this. I don't want that for this week. So I know if I'm having roasted carrots, I could do roasted broccoli. I could do macaroni and cheese instead. I have that ability. I have that ability to sub it out. I have the ability to then go to my local uh, uh, f butcher and get whatever kind of meat I want. That I really, really like about this. Now, one of the things which I do not like about this is food waste. This is not Emil's fault. This is my own fault. Because what happens is, if you look at a recipe, and one of the ones I can remember off the top of my head was, it had me making my own barbecue sauce for something. It called for apple juice, but it only needed a quarter of a cup of apple juice. 
And what I could get in the apple juice realm at that moment was just a half a gallon of apple juice. Well, this happens a lot, especially when you have things that are like, you need a quarter of an onion. We have nothing else that you're going to do with that other quarter of an onion. If you do not plan well enough in advance or you don't think about it, you can waste a lot of food. However, on the opposite side of this, you can have leftovers, whereas HelloFresh basically had no leftovers. With e-meals, you will usually have leftovers. Sometimes you'll have the exact right amount, sometimes you'll have a lot left over. It just depends upon what you found, what you're making, that sort of thing. And you can decide that. You can decide what you're going to do with your leftovers. That's one of the things I truly, truly, truly love about this. So once I, like I said, I'm doing the curbside pickup, so I will go to uh, Walmart, they'll put the groceries in the car, I'll bring them home, and then I am ready to cook. And the cooking is pretty darn simple, as you've seen. There is nothing, like, overly complicated. Now, one thing that I will tell you is, your meals might not look like the picture. And that, to me, that's okay. That's not one of the biggest things because I'm more making food for me versus making food to be seen on Instagram. So I'm okay with it not looking like the picture. But it does taste really good. You can favorite things so that that way when it comes to the next week or a couple weeks down, because they have a rotating list of meals that come through and each week is different, if it's on your favorites, that will always be there available for you so you can go back and choose that item again. And what I like to do is I also do notes on my own computer. I'm th I don't think that they have the ability to do this, which let me know how I've altered the recipe, if I've altered the recipe at all. We have found that nine times out of ten, we like the recipes. Uh, like I said, I do think that they could use a little bit more flavor, but that is one of those things which is easy to season. And it's easy to do. I would definitely think, I would definitely tell you that e-meals is worth a shot. Now, if you are looking for prepared meals, e-meals is not that. If you're looking for portions that are already portioned out so that you, that way all you have to do is cut it up and that sort of thing, e-meals is not that. That was one thing that I also had issues with HelloFresh was the fact that um, you were doing a lot of chopping, like a lot of chopping. Uh, this I don't feel that you're doing as much chopping with, but that might just be because I've now gotten to the point where I know if it says broccoli florets, I'm going to look for already chopped up broccoli florets versus by having a whole head of, a head of broccoli and chopping it up myself. But it's really good. I personally enjoy this. Mom enjoys the meals. I think they're easy to make. I would say go for it. You get a chance to use it, go try it out. I will leave a link down in my description. There is no, like I said, there is no affiliate link to this. It just is a recipe service that hooks up to your uh, food buying app. I guess that's what you'd call that. And then you can either shop for it yourself or you can have it done curbside delivery, however your store does that. And it look, works with a lot of stores. If you have other questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'd like to take this time to thank these wonderful people who make videos like this possible. I do not have to rely on companies reaching out to me because of the people on Patreon. I can then go out, get the item myself, and then do the review that way. And there is no sort of hang up on companies wanting me to do it in a certain way at a certain time. If you have things that you would like me to review, also leave that down in the comments. I really enjoy doing these videos, and if you want to see more of what I've made on emails, let me know. If you want to see this on my socials, like Instagram, let me know also down in the comments. I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.